Hey guys, this is Navin here. Welcome back to Navin Automation Labs. A quick interview question in Java or in fact in any programming language people might ask you that what is NAN? What is not a number? So not a number which is an undefined number and almost all those programming languages they have handled this NAN whenever you are performing any floating operations, floating number operations like kind of arithmetic operation like modulus, the square root of the negative number or divide by 0.0. .0. In this case, you will always get NAN, a number which is not defined. This is just like in database, we have a uh, null. Uh, in SQL, same thing, we have NAN in languages also. So for example, let's see if you run it like that, system.auto.println2 divided by 0, and then you run it. So 2 divided by 0, obviously, it will give you arithmetic exception over here. But at the same time, let's see if I'm writing system.auto.println2 divided or 2.0 divided by 0.0. .0 in this case if you run it it will give you once again arithmetic exception let me just comment it out and then you run it again so in this case it will give you infinity but if you write system dot out of 0.0 divided by 0.0 .0, this number is actually not defined and then it will give you an a n over here same thing if you write it like this system dot out of let's see i just want to print the square root of minus one so i'll be using math class and i simply write the square root of a minus one over here minus one square root it will give you nan that is not the right number that is not an actually number so how exactly other programming languages they behave like that in the same way or not let's see so i'll do one thing this is my um, console over here you can see that uh, on the browser i can execute my javascript over here so i simply write let's see 0.0 or well, let's see 0 divided by 0.0 .0, which is giving you nan over here like that same thing we are getting same nan over here as well right if i really write that uh, math dot the square root of minus one this is also giving you nan so this is the same behavior in javascript as well now let's see in ruby so i'll run 0.0, .0 divided by 0.0, .0 and then you run it so this is a ruby compiler you can see it's giving you nan and same thing if you do it with the c i'm writing 0.0, .0 divided by 0.0, .0 and then you execute it it's giving you some negative imaginary number over here it means nan not defined in c language instead of nan it instead of a not a number it's giving you some negative number over here same thing if you do it with a c plus plus and then you run it in c plus plus it's giving you save nan over here it means that's not a number right and then if you run it with a c sharp two modulus 0, 0.0 that is not a, a number and then if you run it it will give you nan over here so in different programming languages guys you can see that they have defined nan so in this case uh, you will be getting it so what is nan NAN stands for a not a number. It is produced if a floating point operation has some input parameter, for example, like 0.0, .0 divided by 0.0, .0 or a square root of minus one. In this case, the number is not defined. In this case, compiler will tell you that, okay, this is NAN. It will not give you any arithmetic exception or maybe uh, some number format exception over here. If I write, I want to compare two NAN numbers. So how will you do that? So for example, let's see if I'm writing system dot out of Pendelin, I want to generate one NAN number so I can use a float class, a wrapper class, and I simply write generate an NAN. So if you write float.nan inside your printer statement, you will get one NAN over here. But at the same time, if you really want to compare with another AN, uh, NAN with a double equal to operator, simple write float.nan once again. What will be the output in this case? So just pause the video and let me know what will be the output in the comment section. It will give you true or it will give you false. So when you run it, it will give you false over here guys because this is also not a defined number this is also not a, a defined number in this case you cannot compare so in this case compiler will give you false so remember this is this might be an interview question people might ask you at a time of interview same thing let's see if i'm writing system dot out of print ln i'm writing the exactly same line but this time i'm using instead of equal to equal to i'm using not equal to it means this nan is not equal to nan of course this is they both are not equal so in this case it will give you true over here. Another thing is, let's see, I really want to check with the create another double uh, NAN number. I'm giving some name, let's see, like NAN, a variable name itself, I'm writing NAN, generating 2.1 model is uh, zero. So obviously the value of NAN will be NAN. So it will generate something like this, NAN. And then I'm writing system dot out of Again, I'm writing, uh, let's see, 2.1. Uh, model is zero is this equal to this nan then what will happen and then you run it this is not equal to this will give you 
false over here, right? And if you really write system dot out dot println, I'm writing a number n a n whatever that you have taken n a n, which is equal to n a n or not. It means this number itself is equal to n a n or not. In this case also, it will give you false. So when you run it, this is also giving you false over here. So it means I cannot compare to n a n because they both are undefined numbers. Same behavior will happen in other programming languages as well that I have already shown you over here. So that's all for this particular video. I hope you liked it. If you really liked it, this particular video, guys, please subscribe to the channel, share it, put a comment over here and share with others. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.